My goodness, you guys. I know you had to wait for the reveal on the haul from the old red barn. But look how time flies. We're already here. Thanks for coming. Folks, right here on my take on Home and Garden. Check it out now. Let's see what kind of goodies did he get. You know, what did he do there now? Does he really need any more? <laughs> now, as you know, you saw Monday, the old red barn of Geneva, Florida. We had a blast. And that is on Osceola Road, just off of State Road 46. And we'll have the link as before. We'll have that in the description box anyway. Now I was looking through the shops and I found a ladle. And Miss Shelley said, I have a ladle for you to help out because she was so happy that we were there. I say we, me and my camera, camera one and cam two, that's the three of us. <laughs> so, how sweet, William Rogers and Sons, I needed a ladle for a punch bowl. Now you know this could be soups or stews and it's a gorgeous sterling plate. Gorgeous, loved it. She wouldn't let me pay for it. So. Thanks again, Shelly. Love, love that. And you know, those little punch bowl cups are small, so two or three dips and you, you got it anyway. So we want to look elegant. I'm not big on the acrylic ones anyway, but frankly, I don't have it. <laughs> so it didn't come with the bowl, you know, at the time. Let's see what else, if you guys will remember this because I was cracking up when I ran into it. I've loved this for years and years like a lot of us. And the Royal Albert is expensive. Something else about the Royal Albert? The price doesn't go down. So if you did invest in some, you're going to get it back and maybe plus. Okay? That's the beauty of fine china like this. Scottish thistle. Someday I want a table of five anyway, come on. I know 12 is really pushing it, but someday I want the five. This is glorious. And like I always talk, the major side, what do we got, four thistles showing? Two on the opposite side, or the, the lesser side. But the beauty of Royal Albert is, as you sip, the sipper is even seeing the thistle inside the cup. That's how exclusive and wonderful, and they don't cheat. 22 carat rim, two rims on the bottom, and the handle is 22 carat too. The saucer is magnificent. It comes up quite a bit. So if you did drip, you got room and you got room for your little crackers, cookies. Certainly got to have some room for them little shortbreads. Oh boy, look out. Now you're talking. Okay. This you didn't get to see in the film because I think when I found it, I found a couple things, stopped filming and put these in the holding cubby right away. The holding cubby being right by the front door as you go in, of course, for things you want and people aren't going to bother because you've already picked them out and set them aside before you can pay and leave, you know. There's pluses and minuses here. This, I've never seen this shape. 
It's a glorious, you know, I'm wacko on the swans. It's a German thing, I think. It's a European thing. This is in frosted pink glass. It's kind of a pink, so Angela would approve. And I wouldn't have to hear about spending the money. Guys, I wasn't gonna hear about it anyway. At $18, I thought it was an absolute buy and I'm nuts about it. Now I mentioned ups and downs. The down is that poor, poor Deborah from the Painted South doesn't have a swan like this. And she didn't get to the old red barn before me. I know, I keep beating her up on them. It's just terrible. Someday, She'll come up to my speed. <laughs> She's great and you know her. If you've ever watched, you've heard me talk about her before. She's a riot and we tease each other. But this time it's my turn. And sweetness, you just did not find the swan. Obviously, and no, it's not your Christmas present. <laughs> Try harder next time. And I told you, if you came to Florida, you'd have better luck anyway. So, okay, we'll leave her alone. She's just a doll and has a great show too. At the Painted South. All righty, what else have we got? Now, oh, look at this. Beautiful in the off-white duck. It is a resin composite, but you can't hardly tell, and it is exquisite. Now, there was a section there that was on sale. It just blow your wig off <laughs> if you have one. 50% off, this guy's getting out of there, he's moving or retiring or getting out of there. You won't believe it. I'm not gonna tell all my prices today, but this one I'm gonna tell at $10 today, guys. And by the way, you know I always do it. The cup and saucer, you see them on eBay or on Etsy. Today, $12. For the teacup and saucer. <laughs> I wish there was five right there. I would have brought them all home. Anyway, he's super good. Good solid body to him for that little money. Loved it. Just loved it. Now, the owner has, you know, every, every vendor has their initials on their tags and the owner has her initials on, her own things. You saw this one in the video. I always know I'm in trouble when I see something good. <laughs> I know it's gotta come home. Boy, did this ever have to come home. I think you remember the price on this. This beautiful swan is in solid wood. It's real wood, it's not faux, it's not resin. It's in real wood and it is made in Spain. And she is gorgeous. I just went nuts over it. And if you think I'm carrying on about it, when Angela saw this, when she got home, everything I'm gonna show you today, she went nuts and loved it. Cause, you know, we both have mostly, mostly the same style and taste. So, she said that had to come home. I know, I said, I had to try to squeeze Shelly for good price. And she's just a doll and gave me a heck of a price. I'm not gonna quote it. Let's get this possibly moved over here. Look at, I haven't even used my turntable today. Look how gorgeous. I know some of you are sitting there on the couch going, hey, 
Jeff, you didn't put that on the turntable today. <laughs> I know how you are. So we'll get we'll get those up there. You see, I got a one-track mind. Where does he put all the stuff? How do they manage all that? Well, you know, there's videos on that. They don't go away. And anybody that wants to see more about us can go in and check out a year-end review. You can see being my take on home and garden and how I store, manage, and place things and keep them nice. And after every season, I do a bit of a, oh, an arranging and take down and packing up things and show you how I keep my things nice and put away for the season. Okay, and get them out of the way for the next season. Those are some fun videos too, by the way. They're all through there. Speaking of new people, you new folks, we're so happy that you're here with us. We want to invite you to subscribe and stay and join our wonderful family of friends here. And I'm telling you, this show collects some amazing, wonderful people. You read the comments, you watch a couple shows and you'll get it. You'll understand there's a lot of nice people right here on my take on Home and Garden. So give us a like, a share, a comment, and check out those two stores. You know, we have a store in Etsy and it's called My Take on a Vintage Shop. And we have a spring store. Spring is the name of the company, not the season. And both of these are quickly available. You can just go right through hyperspace by hitting the link in the description box that Angela always provides and only a few find it and read it. <laughs> hey, let's move on. I'm going to have people chopping at the bit to see the next thing. I just know how they are and, and I'm going to have to hear about it in the comment section. You know, holy mackerel. <laughs> Here is a beautiful pair of what I think after my little tests and you know I did the ping test, the magnet test and I'm real sure these are pewter and that's a metal mix with nickel and so on. I don't think there's silver plate and there's the only thing that's magnetic is a bolt that runs through a few inches at the bottom inside deep that bolts the bottom onto the stick and I think it's pewter and again Miss Shelley gave me a, just a wonderful deal on these I got that pair of candlesticks for $25 and they started out more, believe me, you know, Angela went nuts over them. They'll be incredible in a vignette. They're absolutely striking. They'll be so fitting in for Christmas, I can't keep the smile off my face, you know that. I'm not good at it. I can't hide that grin. <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing. Now that is probably 20 inches and this is 16. Just loved them. What else we got going on? Anybody remember the Capo de Monte? Hey Betsky, don't get mad out there. <laughs> I know you collect it. There's a few of you that collect the Capo de Monte. I have to mention also, if you remember our Easter baskets from the estate sale, off the chain good. One was Capo de Monte from Italia. 
and one was from Espana. Okay? And unlike the other one made in Spain, this one is made in Portugal. But it is superb. Okay, and you would be so annoyed with me if I let it out of the bag what I paid for this. And I'm going to make you suffer and I'm not telling. I'm not going to tell how much this was. Not a flea bite. Nothing wrong. It has a crackled glaze. It's no crazing. Look at this butte. Now it might not be your style, okay, but in the Italian re revival, Baroque or English country manor house. This is superb. And what a buy. What a buy. I can't tell you. I'm over the moon about it. We're just nuts about this style. This is the trophy style urn lidded. Okay? If this lid was missing, it'd still be good, but I'd have a fit. So I don't have to have a fit because we have the lid. <laughs> and speaking of fit, it's right on with that perfect fit for that. And I have two more things for you. You won't even, I don't think, maybe you will, believe this vase. This is a ceramic vase. It has Moriaji work on it. Now it's been bumped and bumped and knocked off and this vase needs help. This one is gonna get, of course, my ultra famous bronzing technique. And I wanna do it, Angela said the same thing, I wanna do it and leave this marbled pattern on the collar here, above and below the handles. See this work? So, how am I gonna do that? And down below here, see this band? It's a marbleized finish. I'm not talking about that, but to save this Moriaji work, this has to get painted a couple of coats, so that'll stop coming off. Then I'm gonna do my gold, gilding and brushwork, okay? So, you're gonna be mad. King of the buys strikes again. Folks, five dollars for this vase, this floor vase. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, when I'm done with it, it's gonna look like 205. The last thing I got to show you is this incredible Persian style throw. This was an amazing buy because it needed to be cleaned and they were probably afraid to do it. Look at this thing. I thought it was absolutely exquisite. Now I washed this by hand Spun it dry in the washer. Dried it on ultra low in the dryer and let it tumble. And this thing is fantastic again. It came out, it cleaned up real good. You see, I had to be careful because of this fine fringe. And I think it's a wall piece, but it'll probably be a throw around here. Let me get it lifted. And it actually has a different look on this side. This is the real show side here. And it's incredible geese. Look at this. I got that at the 50% off. I think they gave up on it because it was dirty. It had a hole in it and needed my assistance. 
four dollars today. <laughs> That's why you get out of the recliner, you go to your local shops, vintage and antique malls, you get out and you check it out and you get them buys. Take care everybody. We'll see you in the next awesome Shop With Me video.